Film Riot. Today, we're doing something totally different than we usually do. Uh, you might not know that I do like to dabble in music. I actually did a scores pack for our store, the Blockbuster scores pack, which I did two new tracks that we're going to be adding to that pack to update it for Black Friday. We'll also make those tracks available on their own if you did already buy that track. But music has always been one of my big loves, although I pretty much just play by ear. I'm not a composer. Uh, I do love to make music and I do compose a bit, but I would never do it fully professionally. I'm no Daniel James. I know enough to get by. It's all by ear. Uh, but I do love it. And what I think is interesting about that is, you know, like I did when I was first starting out before I was able to get a composer, I was making my own music. And definitely in the beginning, I was still trying to wrap my head around it, but I knew the sounds that I wanted to get. And I would use things like GarageBand and stuff to, to get it done. Now you have a lot of ways to do this, a lot of places you could go, but still the cheapest way and often the best way for your film is to make custom music. But just like everything else, thanks to where technology has headed, it is easy to get a whole studio inside of your computer for really cheap. So what I'm going to show you today is focusing in on that stuff. So you can see right here that I use Cubase and I do everything MIDI, which we'll show in just a second. I use Cubase because Daniel James told me to. That's why I use Cubase. Before that, I used Ableton Live because that's what Daniel James told me to use. Uh, but I really love Cubase. We're not going to go into how to use Cubase or even how to compose music. I just wanted to show the setup for it because when I was first starting out, it was really confusing confusing to me and it seemed kind of scary and it's really not. So if we jump in here and just right click and add an instrument track, I can come down here and add something called contact. Now contact is a player. This is what will house all your sounds. And there's a ton of free stuff out there too. Most of the stuff can be really expensive and a lot of the free stuff can sound kind of like garbage. There's some good free stuff, but for the most part, like they say, you get what you paid for. However, there is a company called Sound Iron that I'm partnering with for this episode. So to wrap our heads around what this is, we're just going to be looking at their stuff today because they have really high quality stuff for really great prices. So again, looking in contact, we have a couple of instruments in here. The first one is Sound Iron's Hyperion Strings Micro. And if we open this up, you could see our selections from violins, violas, cellos, basses, and an ensemble. We'll just throw on the ensemble. Obviously, you could break this down to the singular instruments to really dial that in. But we're just looking at this thing as a whole. And now what we have have here is our instrument and I have a MIDI keyboard in front of me right here so you just hit a key and it plays a string sound and again I'm not gonna sit here and play you a song I play by ear I'm not that type of musician I'm very much a MIDI musician which will, I'll show in just a second but this is the ensemble so I can play everything from the basses up to the higher strings. And what's really cool about this plugin and plugins like it is how much you could switch between things right in here. So first we have a sustain. And then right here you see you have the swell. So if I turn that all the way down, you could see how soft the string is. But as I pull that up, it's getting louder, but it's also getting more harsh. So this is great for building in things like risers or just having that more harsh sound. And it's a great way to try to make the strings sound more natural and realistic by fluctuating that as you play. If you take the time to match that really well with how you're playing, it gives it more of a naturalistic vibe of how that bow goes across the string. Then over here you have body, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's pretty much how full or how thin the string sounds. So for instance, You have attack, which the attack is that first hit. So the first time you hit the keys, how it's playing the instrument. So it's either going to attack it or it's going to feather that in. So with no attack, we have, but with the attack very high, you have. So a smoother end, depending on the feel that you want, something that's more jarring or something that is pulling in maybe something more dramatic. And then down here, you could switch between the different uh, articulations like the sustain we're on right now. Then you have the pizzicatos. I hope that I'm saying that right. Whenever I hear that, I just I just think like those cheesy like. 
I just I just can't help myself. <laughs> it's like a Mary Kate Ashley Olsen type movie or something. When they were like, you know, small. Then you have the staccatos. They're not uh, sustained. They're just like hits, but they're not super sharp hits. They do have a little bit of a tail to them like that. Then you have the spiccatos, which are the quicker, harder hits. So you can play those faster string movements. And then decrescendo, which is the opposite of the other. And then the arpeggio, which is great because if we come over here and throw on like a spiccato and then come back here, I'm just holding one note down and the plugin is actually doing the playing for me. So you can come in here and start adjusting things. That's just hitting one note, so then you can switch between the notes. I'm doing a terrible job of playing anything, but the point is <laughs> you could really start to set this up and program in something that's going to work extremely well, and you just start layering it that way. You use something like this as sort of your backbone to the piece, and you start building out on top of that. That's usually how I make mine. I find something that sort of clicks with me, and I use that as the backbone, and I start building everything else around that, which I know we're diving into exactly what this plugin does, and the reason I wanted to do that is because it sort of illustrates how far you can go with this stuff, and I haven't been doing this that long, so it's still blowing my mind what's possible in, in software like this. But if we move on, they also have their Apocalypse Percussion Elements, which is exactly what it sounds like. So if I open that and go into standard, and then again, I'll just get all the elements. And again, you have all these parameters here that you could be adjusting to dial in the exact sound that you want, and then jump over into the same as we did before, and then layer something in, and then just again, hit one note. And I'm not playing that, I'm just hitting one note. I've programmed in what I wanted it to play and it plays it right back. So I don't have to be hitting the note perfectly every time or worry about going and quantizing it. It's all just layered in like that. And you can also say presets that you've made, like the one that I've done here, if I bring it in, it's gonna open up one that I've made before. And then you could start adding more keys into it and creating a performance out of it. So again, creating a backbone that you can then go and build everything else out on top of. Then they have Glitch Hero. It's really great for EDM type music, hybrid uh, orchestra type music, which is stuff I'm really interested in. And if I just hit a few keys, you could see what type of stuff you got there. So exactly what it sounds like, glitchy type digital sorts of things. This stuff is really great with the arpeggio, so if you go in and turn that on. And that sort of sound feels like something that would work really well for a thriller or an action scene, a build-up sort of thing. Anything where you're trying to throw the audience off and try to get some tension, just having that continuous sound in the background definitely adds an unnerving style for me. We have two more I wanna look at. Both of them are orchestra, the Olympus elements and Mercury elements. Olympus is like this full epic orchestra and uh, Mercury is a boys choir. You have sounds from male singers and female singers, and that goes across the keys with the male singers being the more bassy and the female singers uh, being on the higher side. And finally, let's just look at Mercury Elements really quickly, which like I said, this is also choir sound, but this is a boys choir. So both really solid choir sounds with a lot of room to do whatever it is you're looking to do. But if I toss our apocalyptic percussion back on and then go over here to our track and then just start recording, 
I get my recording in there and then if I double click on it, it opens up my key editor. So in here, it's showing every time that I triggered that MIDI. So each of these represents a MIDI hit, which is calling to the plugins that I showed to actually play the instrument. So once you play it, these are just triggers telling the instrument to play. Then I could change the velocity after the fact too, which is how hard I'm hitting the keys. My keyboard has weighted keys, so how hard I'm hitting the key actually matters to how hard the instrument's playing, so I could go from soft to loud like this. So that's how you can really come in here and program out what you're looking for from the instrument. And that goes for all of the instruments, not just drums. And that's why I wanted to do this episode because as you can see, it's really not that difficult or scary to get into at all. And there's a lot of really low cost, high quality instruments out there like these that you can go and get to start building out your own original scores for your piece if you can't get a composer. Some of us are able to get a composer and that's great, but a lot of us don't have access to that yet because either you don't know someone or you just don't have the money to hire a composer. So stuff like this is never going to replace a composer. If you're a composer, then great. But if you're not, if you're just somebody that does music, if you don't have access to a composer, this is a really great way to get started right now. Plus, I mean, music is just a great hobby to have. And as a director, I think it's important to understand everything, understand editing, music, writing, all of that stuff. So this stuff is great to get into. And of course, I didn't get into how to write music or anything like that. There's a ton of really great stuff on that. So if you want to know more about that, look in the notes below. I'm going to put a bunch of Daniel James's videos down there. He's got really great tutorials on how to make music this way. And he's kind of a genius and the one you should be learning that from anyway. I'll also put links for the instruments that we looked at today down there. And if you are interested in these, I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram that's starting today. So go jump over there and check that out. I'm going to be announcing winners on Friday. So if you're not watching this the day it came out, you still got some time. So jump over to the Instagram and check that out as well. There's nothing more discouraging than having a pile of overdue paperwork just sitting there staring at you while you try to work or do anything you enjoy at all. Well, our friends at FreshBooks have their cloud accounting software that give you more time to do the work you love and not feel discouraged by the paperwork demon. FreshBooks has been designed from the ground up and custom built for the way that you work. It's the easiest way to be more productive, organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. The all new FreshBooks is not only ridiculously easy to use, it's also packed full of powerful features. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks, and get paid up to four days faster. You can see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. And right now, FreshBooks is offering a free 30-day unrestricted trial. Just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film riot and enter film riot in the how did you hear about us section. Logo. So that's it for today. And again, as a reminder, Black Friday is coming on the 23rd. We got a ton of new products and crazy prices. So definitely mark your calendars for that. But now it's time for my suggestion of the week, which is the YouTube channel of the composer that I'm always working with. And that's Daniel James. He has a ton of really great tutorials and walkthroughs of different instruments like this. And he's just insanely talented. So it's really great to see the process of a composer like that. So whether you want to make music or are just interested in music in any way, definitely check that out. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.